People, uh, this is PU1WCP, Ivandro, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Uh, well, let me tell you about my opinion about the KYT KT8R working with the KIT7900 Delta. I can tell you that working perfectly. Okay, if you want a radio that transmitting on three bands, this version, okay, VHF, UHF on the 220 megahertz, I think that it is the radio. It is the radio, okay, because it is a cheap price, okay. And talking about the power, uh, enough power is about uh, 25 watts in the maximum power. I think is enough, okay. Oh. This is 224820. It's a local repeater here in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, I'm using here a small antenna uh, for, base, for base use on, for 220 MHz. And I put in now 5 watts. This repeater is located approximately uh, 35 miles, 40 miles from my home. You can watch. Okay, 224820 in Petropolis, Rio de Janeiro. I can, uh, with not too much power uh, with this radio, I can uh, achieve the repeater with no problem. So, uh, talking about the key uh, YT8R, let me try. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, he's transmitting now on 224820. Well, my, my, my real opinion is that uh, if you would like to save money and if you would like to, not to spend too much money uh, and have a real good radios, you can buy this one. The KYT8R and the KI, uh, KT7900 will be enough for you. Will be enough. Okay. Uh, let me put here, let me transmit here in the... 224820. Hello, hello, hello. Great audio, great audio. Okay, Not, uh, very nice constrictions, very well built. And oh, oh, hello, hello. Okay, there's a there's a nice, nice audio, beautiful. And they are from the family, so the same family, same family. They are cousins. I heard I heard something that from KYT that this radio here is made uh, copying this one. Okay, this, they they made the KYT 8R uh, thinking about the KT 7900. Uh, is, uh, the radio 8R is built in use f with this the 7900. So. My opinion, if you would like to buy this, the, the both radios will be enough. One thing that I want to consider is that this is stock antenna, this is stock antenna that come with the KYT8R. In my opinion, this antenna is for VHF and UHF working perfectly, but on the 220, uh, Always is necessary to put an antenna that is well cut for transmitting on the 220. Uh, sometimes this kind of antenna uh, for designed for transmitting on four bands because this radio also transmits on 330 megahertz. I think it's not enough. I think if you buy a dual antenna or a single antenna, especially for 220. Uh, will be better because this antenna is not, uh, is not working very nice on the 220 for long distance. Okay, my opinion is that because it is an antenna that is co is fixed it fixed it for four bands, and my experience uh, on the 220 megahertz is that uh, the best if you have a dual antenna, for example VHF and 220 or UHF 220 or a single antenna for uh, for 220. Okay, 
That's the only one thing that I want to concern. But this is normal, okay? But, as I said before, talking about price, design, and futures, I, I have no doubt, okay, that the, both radios are transmitting perfectly nice, very nice construction, and very good price. And the only thing, as I said before, that I want to concern is that uh, that I don't agree very much is that this antenna, this antenna is working perfectly on VHF and UHF. But on the 220, as I said before, uh, not for long distance, not working good on, on long distance. But I know the reason. The reason is that you have to, on the 220, that is a very special band, you have to to use a dual antenna, okay, or a single antenna, okay. It's very nice. It's very very easy to find on Amazon and other places a stock antenna to re replace this one. I will buy this antenna. I will buy an antenna that is VHF and 220. I will put on the KIT 8R. I will make a video and I will make another test. Okay. Thank you very much to watch. This is PU1 WCP Evandro. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Thanks. I promise to make another video.